All right, guys, welcome to this tutorial on how to animate the door asset for the free building. It is available on our website for download. Um, visit the website on dcl.digital. There are premium and free buildings available for you there. Um, one of the buildings that comes for free has a few assets for you to experiment with. One of them is the elevator, but the second one is the actual door of the building that we see on the screen right now. And what we want to do is to make sure that we can click on the door in game and make it open to the left and then reclose after a short pause. And I think this should be relatively easy to achieve without coding, just using the um, Decentraland Builder tool uh, available on the Decentraland website. You can just click here on Builder and you will be inside the Builder tool. And then if you select a scene, you can add assets to it. I have another video on how to add assets and upload assets here inside the Builder by creating a new asset pack. But once you actually have it imported, you will have the assets available here and you can just click on them in order to add them to the scene. So by clicking on the door, it will actually show up in the center of the scene. You will then have to use the arrows here and by in order to you know, pull on those arrows to move that door into position. I suggest you also use the shift button, uh, you know, just keep it pressed while using the mouse to reposition the door. This will allow you to be much more precise and with the rotation tool you will actually be able to properly place the door eventually. I will delete that door for now since we already have one here in place. Now what we want to achieve is that when you stand in front of the building and then when you click on the actual door that it opens up to the left like that and then after the three seconds delay we want it to reclose automatically. Now remember that at the current state of the central land, when you have more than one user on your scene, this kind of behavior might you know, not work properly as the door might be open for one of the users, but might be at a different state for another user. So this kind of gets messed up when you have multiple users on the scene. Hopefully the central land will eventually fix that for the builder. Um, Right now, I know that developers can apply, you know, some code to accommodate for that via the SDK. But, you know, this is not for the general user. This is relatively complex and um, hopefully this will be implemented by default eventually. But as long as you're like alone on the scene or if there is one user by himself, by herself on the scene, this will work just fine like that. So now let's go back into the builder and see how this has been set up. So once you have the door in its initial position, you need to make sure that we get a trigger in place. A trigger um, can be found here in the builder tool inside the toolbox. Um, but before we can actually use a click area as a trigger, we need to place the toolbox somewhere on the scene, somewhere where it doesn't disturb us. So when I place it in, inside the scene, I wanna make sure that I like reposition it into a location where it doesn't bother us. I'm using again the shift button and the mouse buttons to smoothly move it into the corner here. We will not touch this toolbox anymore. Even if you have multiple um, animations or like movements of objects in the scene, you only need one toolbox that, you know, just, just, just to be sure we've mentioned this. I haven't mentioned this on other videos. Let's add a click area and let's move that click area directly in front of the door. Since we want people to click on the door, we need to make sure that the clickable area covers the full front of the door. So we need to um, scale that whole thing up to cover the full surface. We need to rotate it a little bit to properly fit in there and now it's outside the scene so we need to move it backwards a little bit so basically this should do the job you can do you know you can be more precise than that but for the sake of this tutorial this should be fine so if you select the clickable area 
you can change the call to action that will be visible on the door to let's say door from the default interact i think door is much nicer so once you have that clickable area in place you want to define what happens when you click on it by clicking on that add action button which is also a plus and here we keep the default setting of move item and let's now select the item that we want to move which is the actual door and now let's reduce the speed to three and let's change the y-axis value to, to four four should allow us to open the door completely by moving it to the left so having set that up let's add another action here and let's add a delay we want the door to remain open for a little while let's keep it open for three seconds and after the three seconds we want the door to close so for that we need another action with move item let's select again the same door item and now uh, after changing the speed to three let's put in minus four which should directly offset the positive four movement to the left um, the minus four should exactly bring the door back to its original position so this is it if we update the scene now publish it to our land and if we reload our original scene we should have that same functionality still work just fine let's have a look if it will work while this is loading please make sure to uh, look at the other videos that i have for the animation of the elevator and on how to actually place a building in the first place uh, let's see door uh-huh it moves upwards this is an unexpected behavior now like what happened here it's actually pretty cool and i like it even more but it seems that we have assigned the wrong axis so we put that onto the y-axis so let's put this back to zero and let's change the x-axis to four and let's do the same thing here back to zero and minus four on the x-axis now as you noticed even though i have changed the values here the update seed button is still grayed out so i need to move something on the scene a little bit and now i can update it again mm -hmm. well it's good that these things happen right now as you see sometimes the central end gets stuck here i will need to go back real quick I'm sorry about that let's quickly reload it and update the scene properly okay let's quickly just check if the changes are still in place they are update scene okay publish to land this should have worked fine now let me refresh so now if you remember before the the door did slide open upwards and now it should slide to the left let's see if this is true uh -huh. and after three seconds it should close back it did all right guys i hope this tutorial was helpful let me know if there are any other questions make sure to watch the other tutorials and um, make sure to visit our website for more assets on dcl.digital. Thank you.